all right so hey guys it's current me here again and obviously again this is another clip i've put in after the fact because the original this original section of the clip violated copyright shout out to fifa um but anyway in the original clip i just uh went over the highlights slowly pausing it and then um kind of analyzed what i saw and kind of pointed out how uh what you saw on the highlight video lined up with what i'd said previously in the video uh obviously i can't show you guys that footage again because it has um footage of the copyrighted highlight material but i'm just gonna go ahead here and summarize what i said there um so first thing i noted was that um even the commentators implied that romero was a a liability for argentina uh, the same way I said he was because they were like, oh, he's in the lineup. So they were like surprised he was there, right? Uh, so that ties into something I'm going to talk about again later or something else I noted. The other thing is that uh, Saudi Arabia had a different formation on TV than Google. So like in other words, the Fox listed them having a different formation than what they said on Google. Um, and the formation on TV was more defensive. So it looks like in real life, um like in the actual game they played more defensively than i guess um or rather my bad the google formation was more defensive than the tv formation so what that means is that in real life during the actual game they played more defensively than they said they would on paper because initially it looked like they were going to play a 4-4-1-1 right with two strikers one withdrawn second striker but in reality they actually played a 4-1-4-1 so that second striker dropped down the midfield and then one of the midfielders dropped back to shield the defense as a sitting defensive mid. And you saw that they played very defensively. Um, other thing was that I didn't think Argentina's penalty was a penalty. Looked like the player, I forgot who it was, but whichever player it was uh, that went down the box, uh, I think he went down real easy and then VAR just uh, gave him a gift. Uh, it is what it is. Um, we see them do that all the time now. Uh, another thing that I noted again was that the highlights show that Argentina didn't really create that many clear-cut chances, right? Because their only goal came from a penalty, which again was a sus penalty. And then also they had a bunch of offside chances, which when you think about it, even though they put the ball in the back of the net, those aren't real chances because once you're offside, there's no way you're going to score, right? So that means that Saudi Arabia played a good offside trap or Argentina's forwards were making bad runs, right? Or a bit of both, probably a bit of both. Um... Other thing the highlight showed was that long balls were good for Saudi Arabia because, again, they played a classic defensive pack it in, then go direct. Um, their first goal came off a long ball. They played up long to their striker, and Argentina defended it really poorly. Uh, Romero looked bad on that play, didn't get close to the, the striker. And then Molina, who ironically later won them the World Cup, but in that moment, uh, he helped them lose the game because he didn't get close and make a tackle, right, because the... Uh, uh, striker was right there in the channel between the right side of center back Romero and then the right back Molina, right? So that was a thing. Um, Saudi Arabia, again, classic defensive performance. They ain't create much, but they took the chances they got, right? Um, and then as I already said, Argentina's defending was bad. On both goals, the defending was bad because even on the second goal, yeah, um, the Saudi Arabia player uh, took a great shot. He had some great footwork, curled it right in right amazing goal but uh, the Argentina defenders weren't really getting close to him they probably could have made a tackle it looked like they were afraid to give away a pen but um, they, they let him go way too much and even like defending before that letting the ball get into him wasn't good um, then uh, Argentina also one funny thing you can see on the highlight they actually crossed the ball in the box and Messi was the one who headed it so we all know Messi's the greatest of his generation uh, you know arguably the greatest of all time but i mean heading is not his thing so if your strategy is to cross the ball into the box for Messi to head it uh you need to go back to the drawing board because that shit ain't gonna work um then uh and yeah that that was it but overall those are the main things i covered there but overall the bottom line, uh, what I said in the original clip, and what I'm going to say again now, is in that game, the highlights showed that Saudi Arabia won because they defended well and they took their chances, and then Argentina played badly. They didn't defend well, and then their attackers didn't really show up. They didn't create many clear-cut chances. They didn't take the ones they had. 
And really, Argentina, if they kept up like that, they probably would not have won the World Cup, right? Um, you could have even seen a shot group exit. But after that game, they changed their tactics. They changed their personnel, right? They switched out some players. They took out Lautaro, put in Julian Alvarez. That was big. They put in Enzo Fernandez, right? Um, got some more width because we even saw in the final. Um, Di Maria did play in this game, but he, he was much better in the final, right? Um, and overall, just the balance of the team, it helped. They had more width. They had better players. They had a real striker, Julian Alvarez, instead of, with all due respect, Lautaro Martinez, uh, who I, I hate to say it, but that man is just uh, I bad Iguain 2.0. He's just the reincarnation of bad Iguain. Um, I mean, he has some talent, but like, um, you know, we, we see how he can do. I, I don't think he can be your main striker, especially not uh, if you're only playing with one striker. Like, he, he could be a second striker when you pair him with someone else good, like um, when he was with uh, prime Lukaku at Inder. Because obviously now Lukaku's looking a little done. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe he'll have a career renaissance, but it ain't looking good for Mr. Five Misses. Um, but anyway, Argentina made those changes. And they won the title. So in the end, this game was actually a good learning experience for them. And also is the biggest shock in World Cup history, in my opinion. Definitely the biggest shot of the shock of this uh, tournament. Uh, but I think the biggest shock of all time since Argentina went on to win the tournament. But all right, that's all I got to say. Uh, back to past me. Peace. Hey, guys. Please like the video and also share it with everybody you know. Please also subscribe if you're watching it on YouTube. And if you're watching it on any other platform, please follow the account. Uh, please also join our Patreon. The link to that's in the description of the video. And also join our email and phone list. The li link for that sign up is also in the description of the video. You can also donate to support us through another link that is in the description of the video. And if you're watching this on Twitch, you can hit any of the buttons on my Twitch account uh, to go to the links to do this. So please do all that. It really helps, um, helps support me and will also keep you guys informed. Um, and again, I'm Chimoge. This is Chimoge's comments and you've come to the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Peace.